What do you think are the key factors that have contributed to the longevity of your relationship? So, so, so one of the things, of course, we've discussed it uh, even even before that uh, the most important at least number one is commitment no? between the husband and wife. That some actually is not only with the husband and wife, but also as as God has given it to us. After that's why we call it a covenant, more as an, uh, more than an, as a misly agreement. So your commitment, the moment you get married, you should be very much committed for better, for worse. The formula that we read when you get married should always be there. Till death do us part, diba? Masama lang Red. mo. Hindi naman, wala na. Ako 42 years na tayo. Medyo may preba na tayong konti. <laughs> Tapos, what else? Uh, um, sa akin siguro, yun. Kami yung dalawa ni Tips are 42 years na what? Keep us together. <clears throat> Una, I think the grace of God. No? Yung, the fact that uh, we were, yeah, we got married and uh, God had given me the best husband. Actually, you know, siyempre, is a gift from God. No? That's, yun, yung mga factors that contribute to the longevity of our marriage, yung, yun yung he said commitment. Tapos yung communication, we talk a lot eh, kasi we have, of course, differences, conflicts, pero we talk a lot. We we share what is what. Ako, I always share what whatever I have in my feelings. So, tapos yung ano nga, we care and we care and cherish each other. Parang eh, oh, eh, ano eh, parang forty two years. Wala ka ng choice kung di mahalin mong tunay, di ba? <laughs> Talagang gano'n. Ang, 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 ang dami naman sa nasa, ano ba formula pa? Anong factors? Isa lang masasabi ko, Aliza. Eh, mahal ko eh. Yun lang. Mm. Yun ang key eh. Sa, uh, mahal namin ng isa't isa. So that's the biggest factor. And with God's, you know, grace and God's... Uh, we always put God into it of our relationship. So, so in communication, siya sabi nga na si Bandi talks a lot. Me, I listen more. No? Uh, perfect. No? <laughs> perfect. <laughs> joke, joke. Happy, sabi nga namin, mm-hmm. biro na happy wife, happy life. Diba? So, pag bigyan na lang ang spouse natin. Kau talaga. Dea, Dennis. <laughs> Sige. Thank you for that. It's actually aligned with what we put in the introduction, the three-way contract, right? Like the, between the spouses and with God, and God. So I really like that you included God, like the gift of God's grace. Because I think, well, I, obviously I can't speak it for myself, but this is this session is definitely to help those who want to gain, you know, wisdom from married couples themselves. So thank you so much for that. Doctors Dennis and Grace. Uh, good evening to everyone. Good evening to Tibbs and Vanji. Thank you for having us here. Uh, uh, good evening, Alisa. With regards to the question of uh, longevity, for us, I think the the secret is well, one, it's it's a covenant. It's a three way covenant, and you have the the best guarantor you could get, who is God guarantees you that uh, no matter what happens this is going to succeed and i think for us the secret is that consciousness that uh that union when the priest gives you the sacrament of matrimony when the priest says you're one you now realize that i have another person who may be a stranger to me but i would have to consider the person a part of myself already. She may be doing things so differently from the way I would do things, but I could not ignore her because she's a part of me already. I will not look at her as somebody distinct from myself, but as an extension of myself. The me now becomes a we. Uh, No matter if I am not used to the way she does things, I would have to accept that and I would have to go out of my way to make sure that that unusual way of operating becomes a normal part of myself. It's no longer my activities, her activities, and then we'll have a common activity. It's always our activity together. It's never my schedule, your schedule, and then somewhere in between we'll have activities together. Everything is going to be our activity. 
we would jokingly call ourselves as Team Garcia. And when we would have activities, you would say, Team Garcia doesn't do that. Uh, Grace is very much an extrovert. I am the total opposite. I'm an introvert. And there are times na she would want to have guests in the house. The introvert side of me would not want that. But I will not insist on that. The married person that I am already has an extrovert part of himself already in the person of Grace. So now I would have to go out of my way <laughs> to act in an extrovert way. Uh, so it's, it's a way of adjusting. It's, it's also discovering something new in yourself, which is brought about by another person you now call your spouse. Thank you, Dr. Dennis. Kami ni Dennis, without God, hiwalay na talaga kami. <laughs> this is the difficulty with doctors. Because you're both captain of the ship in your office. And it's very hard to lose that thinking. When you are in a marriage, it works well as a doctor uh, that you... Uh, are responsible for all the things that happen but in a marriage it's it's not functional so much there so in the beginning it was a stormy <laughs> it's a stormy path and um, the the beauty of our marriage is that we we both were in God we both came from religious parents who taught us how to pray and the prayer kept us calm. Without praying, we would have a war at home. That's why the blessing of a parent that prays. <laughs> uh, I cannot overemphasize it. Because we saw it in our parents, both our parents. And so that prayer brought us to that unity. Like he says, I'm very extrovert and I had to become an introvert <laughs> like <him. laughs> The key is I needed to learn how to stay at home and, and be with him quietly, reading. And yeah, these are not things I did before. But by God's grace, I was able to, like he said, transform into a we rather than just me. We never do things that the other person is not knowledgeable of. Uh, schedules are always known. Disputes with regards to the children are known. We take each other's uh, point of view if there are arguments with the children. Everything is shared. We honor the order of God. He is the head and I am the heart. <laughs> um, it is not broken in our home. Even the children know that. So I think those are the key points. God and the sacredness of that union with Him. Thank you so much, Dr. Bates.